Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. We're glad you've chosen to join us today. I bring before you today a, a pillow. Uh, it is a symbol of rest. Uh, pillows are pretty important if we're going to have the rest that we need to have. It uh, actually uh, settles our head where it needs to be. It helps our neck bones. Uh, it helps our back and shoulders uh, to hopefully be in the right position that we are able to get a good night's rest. Oh, how wonderful it is when you can sleep. How awful it is when you lay awake, when you wake up so often when you toss and turn, uh, if you have a spouse and they're next to you, it's hard when you're not resting like you ought to. Uh, I traveled from here in Poplar Bluff recently to a doctor's appointment in St. Louis. Uh, very, very wise, very intelligent uh, medical professional. And I was there for a completely unrelated uh, situation, but he asked about uh, my sleep patterns. And I told him, I said, what's that? And he said, sleep? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm not sleeping real well. A lot on my mind, praying a lot at night uh, during those days. Uh, it's just extra things going on. And so he said, oh my goodness, you need to be able to sleep well. And he prescribed something that I thought was uh, pretty good. He said, uh, I use this and it helps my sleep. And when you get your sleep, it'll help your memory. And he said, uh, order some dark chocolate powder, warm some milk, and drink that before you go to bed. It will help you to rest, and it will enhance your memory. Wow, a doctor that's telling me to ingest chocolate. That's my kind of doctor. Listen to what the Bible says about this. The Lord Jesus says, come to me, all ye who labor, and are heavy laden, all ye who are weighted down by the concerns of this world, and listen to what he says, and I will give you rest. Just saying it that way, rest. It's as if that burden has been lifted off of our shoulders. It's the rest for our emotional state. It's the rest for our physical state. But most importantly, it is the rest of our spiritual state. There's a void within us. And the void can only be successfully filled by God, by a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. We look everywhere to find that contentment, that fulfillment. And yet Jesus says, come to me. All ye who labor with those spiritual things, with those physical things, with those emotional things, all of you who are heavy laden, he says, and then I will give you rest. Rest. In John chapter 10, listen to what Jesus, again Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. You can think, you can imagine the worst case scenario, and listen to what the Bible says, my Father is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand keeping, out of my Father's protection, out of my Father's blessing upon their lives. How do we find ourselves in the hand of God? It's when we believe that He loved us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to die and to be raised again, that we believe that Jesus died and was raised again to pay the sin debt that we owed but could not pay. We're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of that sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What is the definition of eternal? Never ending. And the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. And we can rest our spirits in the fact that God is holding us in the hollow of his hand 
and no one, he's the greatest, no one shall be able to snatch us out of the Father's hand. Oh, I'm not saying rest, relax, and don't do anything. I'm saying be obedient to the Lord and sharing the truth in love and knowing that you can do that, understanding that God has you and will always have you if he's ever had you. Would you yield yourself to the burden-lifting Savior? His name is Jesus. Father, thank you for the rest, for the fulfillment, the contentment. Father, for the filling up of that void that's within every one of us. And Lord, that voice, that, that void, that space is God-sized and only you can fill it. Thank you for giving us that lift of burden. Thank you for giving us rest in the midst of our earthly toil. We praise you for it today. May it encourage someone along life's way in my hearing. We ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.